Hi guys, so here's another recipe that I have for you. This one, I just call it um, baby ribs. I just go to the local market, you know, Publix or whatever and get baby back ribs. You can get beef or pork or whatever you want to use. Um, I usually get pork and I have the butcher slice the ribs in half. So you get the whole slab of ribs like this long and just have them cut it right down the center lengthwise. So you have um, double the amount of ribs and small little bite-sized pe bite pieces. So let me go ahead and show you everything and talk you through it. Okay, so I'm making what I call okay, baby ribs. So these are just um, baby back ribs. You can do it with beef if you need to. If you don't eat pork, you can use beef. Um, I just take the baby back ribs and I have them cut the ribs long ways so that it's instead of one big chunk, it's two skinny chunks. And then I'll just take them and then just cut um, the ribs into little pieces. Uh, you'll like it when you eat it. It's not cooked yet. You know, some people eat bugs. Mm -hmm. So that's everything right there. So next I just have some garlic here and I'm just going to, I just crushed it just to separate all the garlic. Um, and I'm just going to take all the skins out. I usually just, when I'm going to cut up garlic, I cut up a bunch of it just for, you know, for future use. So I'll just take it here and I'll take a knife and just smash, smash, not smash, huh? smash each one so that I can get them and um, chop them all up together. I usually use um, garlic every single day when I'm cooking so when I'm smashing up garlic at any point in time I try to do at least a whole clove or two, not a clove, what is that called, a bundle? I don't know what it's called. Anyways I usually do all of it. So I'm, I'm taking this fancy garlic press which I got recently to do a review on it's pretty awesome it's easy to clean easy to use it smashes like every piece of garlic right out of it you should definitely get one of these um, so I usually use probably about three cloves in a dish like this next I have some cilantro I love to use fresh cilantro in my dishes I think it's really good I know some people hate it it's like you either really like cilantro or you really hate it I really like it and honestly the people that hate it when they eat my food they love my food and then I tell them after there's some cilantro in there so anyway I'm just separating this is like kind of old cilantro so I was kind of weeding out the good parts and the bad parts just chop it all up um, I do this method here I use this one in my beef salad I made the last time so just chop it up you can make it super fine if you want to or make it coarse however you like it if you don't mind it coarse and you know that's fine too um, I just use it for the flavor it gives a really really nice flavor um, I wouldn't miss this step if you're gonna be doing any marinating or anything like that so this is the oyster sauce that I use this is from the Lee Kum Ki this is I always know it by the panda this is the one my mom had always used when I was a kid and then so oyster sauce and fish sauce this is just the typical fish sauce that um, the Thai people use. And there's other brands too, but this is just one of the main ones that they use. So I'm just gonna marinate it. I'm gonna add the garlic that I have. I'm just gonna add a bunch. And the cilantro that I chopped up. sauce and just some pepper so 
just adding all the pepper and then I'll just go ahead and stir everything up together. Now I did want to mention that the fish sauce, people were asking if it's fishy. No, it's not fishy. It's a salty flavor. It's a little bit more salty than soy sauce, but there's a different flavor to it. And the oyster sauce as well. It doesn't, I don't know what oysters taste like, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't taste like this. Um, then I'm going to stick it in the fridge overnight and I'll cook this tomorrow. So it's the next morning or afternoon. I just have the ribs. I had them out for a little while. I'm gonna add them to a very hot, hot, hot pan, which I used a little coconut oil on the very bottom. So I'm just dumping all of this stuff in there. And what I wanna do is to sear the outside of the ribs. Um, that's why I have it on really, really high heat. So I just let it sit for a couple seconds, stir it, sit, stir it, um, and keep going at it just like this. Uh, I really want it to get a nice, nice sear on the outside of the ribs just because um, it gives it like a nice little bite, although it will fall off the bone as well, but it's really good. So you'll see here, um, you can kind of see the little brown bits on there. Let me see if I can do a little zoom in for you so you can check that out. Um, but yeah, just keep doing that. This is going to be for, I don't know, let's say about four minutes or so, maybe plus or minus and just keep coming back. And then once it's gonna be all nice and seared up, um, you can start adding other seasonings and things like that to it. So here I'm adding water because I want to, once the sear is there, to put it to boil until all the water completely boils out. So I'm just covering the ribs up until it's just over the top. Uh, now I'm gonna be adding the garlic, more garlic. I know I had garlic before, but adding some more fresh garlic. This is fried garlic, um, dried fried garlic. This is awesome. I love this stuff in every meal. I swear it's so yummy. It has a great, great flavor. You can get that at the Asian market. Um, and then next, what I'm going to be doing is just adding a little bit more black pepper to it. It doesn't give it any spice or anything. It just, you know, it has just like, hmm, what is that flavor in the background? So just stir everything all together, make sure it's all mixed in and it's gonna be cooking up all yummy and nice. You want, you want this to go on and boil and you want this to boil on a good roaring bo boil like this until it's almost dried out. Uh, definitely come back and stir it every so often so that the meat doesn't stick to the very bottom of the pan. And once it's done and it's almost down to um, the end, we're gonna go ahead and add a little tiny bit more oyster sauce to it. And that's just because I think it gives a really nice flavor. Ooh, look at the background. I got me some barbecue wings back there too. Yum, so good. Um, so yeah, just stir it at the very bottom. The sauce gets really thick and you want that thick sauce to coat all the ribs and it's gonna give such a great flavor. Every rib is gonna taste so delicious and yummy. So that is about it. All you do is dump it on a plate, add a little garnish to it, and it is going to be so good. You can eat it alone as like an appetizer, or you can serve it over some white rice or brown rice or anything else. It is delicious. Doesn't that look good? Yum. Gobble, gobble. Nom, nom. So good. So that's my little version of baby ribs. I kind of did some barbecue chicken with it. It was delicious. I always make barbecue chicken in the oven. I just like it that way and I always cook my barbecue sauce right on top of it because I like to get the brown bits and yummies and it taste, changes the flavor of the barbecue sauce when you do it like that. Oh, so yummy. I love it. But um, yeah, that's it guys. Thank you again for watching my second cooking little thingy. If you would like to see more, let me know in the comments down below. And um, yeah, that's it. I'll see you in another video. Bye.